But has he gone after you yet? No, I've not yet been targeted. You got to step up your game, man. Hmm. I just I just am who I am for better or worse. Okay, let's let's get into this boozy thing. So Kurt, tell me what's been going on with Christopher Ellis Boozy. Yeah, so this uh guy is the head of Bot Sentinel which is reports, he? apparently. Apparently the owner is not him though. Right? Like that's that's what I'm inferring from Nate's tweet. Do you know the tweet I'm talking about? Well, no, the the issue was that on his bankruptcy filings, he did not declare that he had any interest in any business, but he had what like 3 or 4 months before the bankruptcy filing formally filed for his corporation status for Bot Sentinel, which listed him as the board of directors and shareholder. So, yeah, I think yeah. he's the owner. That's a problem. Here, so here's the tweet I'm talking about, just because I was confused by it. I didn't know if this meant something else. So update, as of right now, it looks like Bot Sentinel has run out of someone's apartment and uses a P.O. box as its mailing address. The owner and employee has no credentials or, or education in computer science or IT. How is this company credible? Is he just saying that Boozy has no education in computer science or IT? Correct. I, that's what he's saying. Okay. Okay. I thought he was being... I thought he was saying that the owner was not boozy and it was uh, it was like a shell company of some sort or, or like some. No, that's uh, my understanding. Some, or, of what there was, was a saying. straw owner, basically. Yeah. So he created this this thing, Bot Sentinel, which purports to try to determine tweeting tweet accounts that are particularly toxic using his own definition of what toxic is, which seems to be speech he does not like as yes. best as I can determine, because I, I read his report and I can find no other consistent definition that makes any sense. He never defines any of his terms in his report. It's completely conclusory. And I find his examples to be weak and don't even prove his point. Like, if this is hate speech, we cured hate. Because yeah. <laughs> it's so far afield from anything that I would even begin to think represents hate speech. Yeah, what he it's calls so, hate, hate speech. It's so mild is and milk toast. Yeah, it's it's like the most soy uh, soy attacks that exist. It's nothing. It's I, like I wish people would hate speech me the way they're hate speeching. And what he said, like, was so toxic, was that someone was on like Nate was streaming, and someone was saying "stop boozy" in a super chat, and then the hashtag was "boozy bucks." That was the. It's like this is how toxic YouTube is. Yes, that's. That's how toxic YouTube is. Oh my God, it's a it's a paradise. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and, uh, his, his exemplars don't really prove his point, mm -hmm. unless you are just incredibly weak to to any sort of critique or criticism. And then his own rhetoric that he uses on Twitter is at least as harassing as any example that he can point to the contrary. His attacks on on Twitter are. Well, as we as we see with Nate, they're bordering on defamatory, if not actually being defamatory. And attacking Nate's parents. Oh, I didn't like, see that one. Oh yeah, no, they 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 he called his parents crackheads. Oh, I did no, I did see that one. Yeah. That's right. It's so weak and so reprehensible. The man That's... the man the man's character is questionable based on his uh his treatment of others. Yeah, well his his character is not in question to me. Mm. <laughs> His character, he's a complete fucking dirtbag. And uh, and whatever, whatever you know, befalls his company uh, as the fallout of this legal action and, uh, and the people looking into him, that's on him. I don't want to be taken out of context and suggesting uh, and have someone suggest that I'm wishing harm upon him, which I'm not. Uh, I want C. Boozy to live forever. I want him to be immortal like Dracula, uh, except instead of sucking blood out of people, he sucks like $8 out of bot Sentinel users or something like yeah. that. This guy, he's a, he's a menace, but he's an idiot. So it, it kind of balances out. <laughs> you know how I know that C Goody is, uh, or C Goody. <laughs> Get wrecked, C Goody. Yeah. The following Go program would like to clarify a point of common confusion. This is C Goody. He's a based Chad. This is C Boozy. He's always sad. C Goody, based Chad. C Boozy, 
always sad. T Greg has chimed in on this because Nate has uh, sought an attorney mm -hmm. and uh, and threatened suit, and so which um, would be hilarious. It would. Oh God, it's it's if it happens, it'll be so funny. Um, it'll be so funny because New Jersey doesn't have an anti slap mm -hmm. So New Jersey has uh, not a statutory slap back, but a um, a common law slap back, which uh, mirrors the California, not mirrors, but uh, follows the model of the California slap back part of the anti slap statute. Okay, so let me let me explain to the chat what this is. Um, a slap is a strategic lawsuit against public participation. That means that someone is suing over someone's participation in a public matter or a public concern. So Nate's been Nate's been going after Boozy here. Yeah. Um, he had tweeted out uh, a business address, but uh, that he's that may have been a home office because mainly because we saw Boozy had a post from a couple years ago with an office set up in his kitchen. Right, I think that's which is fine thinking. because I'm set up in my living room and my kitchen's behind me. Yeah, so. I'm in my gun safe. Like it's yeah, not a big deal. So, um, although like the the interesting thing with Bot Sentinel is that he seems to like represent it as if it's some like thing, like some big thing. But I, I think isn't it just him and maybe his like wife? Does he have employees? Is it like bigger? Do you know anything about I it? I really know. So he says, I think this is in reference to me. I think this is in reference to me because this is later in the day after my video is released. I'm still trying to figure out how lawyers can't read a legal document that says dismissed. Well, in fairness, Boozy, I didn't do hardly any research because I was talking more about the drama than your specific situation. I haven't gone over your fraudulent bankruptcy documents online yet. I've thought about doing it on a live stream. Would you like me to? Because I've done it to other people and I have no qualms about doing it to you. But I just wasn't doing that right now. I was mainly talking about how funny it is that Nate is probably possibly going to sue you in New Jersey and how you'll have to pay a whole bunch of money to be responsive to a lawsuit or you'll default. Uh, and I mean, to me, that's just all comedy. That's that's all comedy. We know so, you live for the comedy. Um. <laughs> so, OK, can I can I respond to this? You can respond to whatever you want. All right. That's so, why you're here. Yeah, that is why I'm here. Because I was saying that I know something about the bankruptcy thing. Because I've dealt with people filing for bankruptcy. And I want to be clear that I'm not accusing Boozy of doing this. Because I don't know his personal circumstances. I, I, re yeah. I really, really don't know what happened and why he filed for bankruptcy. And then it was discharged. And then it was dismissed rather than a discharge of debt. So to clarify these, these seemingly similar words, which have very different meanings when someone files from bank for bankruptcy so it's basically they're starting a legal proceeding in bankruptcy court and the agenda is that they have too much debt and they want some if not all of that debt to be discharged so when they talk about discharged it doesn't mean anything you know from between from man's phallus it means like it's literally that's what discharge it means it means discharging I mean, the joke. debt this charge comes I'm, can out. Can I of, continue? Can I continue teaching? I'm, I'm it my also teaching. comes I'm out of my... women's orifices too, if you do it right. Well, okay. I'm, this How is, would you know? This is where <laughs> I've read about it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I I said, imagine making a woman orgasm. How embarrassing! Right, uh, right. So, so yeah. So you're trying to discharge some, if not all, of the debts. Are you are you you're mocking me? You're mocking me a little me? bit, Mister okay. saying that you know his discharge is going to be all is going to be undone. I so, got an A in bankruptcy in law school. Like I don't know oh, why. Okay. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I got an A in this course. I barely even went to it. It was amazing. Right. I just understand inherently the loss of money. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, what? What's the face? You own a collection company. I owned. I sold it five years ago. Joke, if... like you know, I try to not make jokes. <laughs> like I try, I didn't... like I, it's not my fault. It's not my fault when you're like, oh yeah, well I owned two a strikes. company that was two strikes. I owned a company that was no, just completely continue. based on this taking why, money from people. This is like... why your attorneys <laughs> told you not to bring anyone on because it's like basically they'll end up having not because of them, but because no. of you, like yes, me, yeah, exactly, yes. 
that we are basically going to like <laughs> swing our, our, our cojones out there. And you're staying there with a baseball bat and you're like, Oh, <laughs> shit, let me swing. Oh, let me swing. God, it's just hanging there. And one day you're one day, God forbid, you're just going to lose control. And it's going to be like a knee jerk. Like you didn't even realize you did it. Just being like a quick fam. And it's going to be, and then in the next thing, you know, yeah, there you yeah. go. There you and go. then it'll be Mickey right there. Lay down, yeah. you son of a bitch. Stay down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look, um, I live my life by the code of the funk. Joe. <laughs> What's the code of the funk? 600 YL 18s in the trunk. <laughs> when I'm on the street, you got to feel my beat. Nice. So throw your hands up if you're down with the C. Double O L I O with the flow. Really? Yeah, not my thing. I know you. I, I know you. I know. Yeah, everyone makes that mistake. Everyone, <laughs> but well, no. after your British accent, I figured you were. <laughs> so, um, back to the bankruptcy code. We're gonna get into Darcy saying boozy butts for the drama. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. For those of you who do not know what boozy butts are, they are referring to uh Chris Boozy, who has been stirring up a lot of drama with what they call Law Two, where I know a lot of us refers to ourselves as Law Two. Um, Nate the lawyer basically did a stream and he, to me, that's who I know created the boozy bugs, but everyone's donated boozy bugs. Um, and kind of like opposition to Mr. Chris Boozy. So thank you so much, Darcy. Okay, we have Skeezy's $5. Super chat, thank you so much, Sam. You didn't even do anything. You barely joined that discussion because Boozy took a screenshot. I was barely saying anything, and I know I did not say anything negative. I offered to be the mediator. I said, this is crazy. I had not seen this. That's some crazy stuff to say. But I know I didn't say anything negative.